Hi everyone. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do a swipe and a bloom in the same painting. So stick around and I'll show you how to do it. So please join me in my art room. There we go. So I've already put some, uh, this is a eight by eight, 10 by 10 uh, canvas board. I've just poured some of my house paint down. It's coming off the side there. Just uh, getting the paint away from the edge. I kind of want it in a square. <clears throat> it's all going to be tilted anyway, so. <clears throat> So I've got some nice colors. That's my Rust-Oleum Gold. I have a DecoArt Pale Gold. And I have my PBO, I think this is a blue-green. I have an Ultramarine Blue Basics. And then this is a um, Prussian Blue. I don't have the tube right here, but it's a Stevenson paint that I've had for a while. This is my DecoArt uh, Lavender Frost and I've added a bit of Artist Loft Violet, light violet to it. Okay, so I'm going to do a swipe and I'm going to swipe it with white. So, um, so we just uh, put your colors down Whatever way you like, but okay, that's the Prussian blue, turquoise. You can see my consistency. It leaves a bit of a mound. This one seems a bit thick, so I'm just going to add a, just a tinge of water. I'm going to try and stir this slowly so I don't get a lot of air bubbles. Put my gold. If you're if your stripe is wide, then you need to put colors on both sides because you're going to start halfway and pull it across. So you want colors in there on both sides. Oops. I need a little more turquoise. Oh, 
I don't think I did the ultramarine. I'm going to swipe with white, but I do prefer swiping with black. I don't know why, but I'll see how the white goes today. Okay. All right, so I'm going to take one of my cards. I don't think I'm going to cut them today. some on my little tile here and then I can just dip it in if you can see that there's my tile okay try this side Sometimes I just like to put it on myself. And that was better. It had more color coming down. But that's pretty. It's the blues around the white. Probably should have gone closer there. I might go over that one again. go over this one whoa that took a lot of paint off Kind of pushed a little hard there. You have to give it a little pressure, but not a lot. You don't have to push hard. So my paint's uh, mixture is in my description below the video. Wow, those colors are so pretty. Now I'm going to have to cut one.
Now, I think this is just an experiment now, so I'm trying to remember which. I think I put the dark one down first. I'm going to put a, a bloom here. I'm going to put gold. I'm going to put this gold. Didn't put any purple. Try my cell activator. To use my straw. this. Well, I only got it one way. All right, so I'm going to do another one in the over here and I'll do 3. different order. Put some gold. Might have to excuse my head here. I'll do one right there. Which one should I put on top? Purple, I guess. I don't think I did purple. I don't know. water in my straw.
right, so I'm going to tilt this, see what I get. I'll hold it up for a close-up for you. My camera's a little crooked here. Never done this before, I'm just experimenting, so. Some paint on the corners. this way. Oh, I have to go back first to the middle. The blooms in the middle don't seem to spread as much as you think they would, but I'll go this way. Add some paint here. I was hoping that would come off, but now I'll try going this way. of the paint there. I need to get this off here. to the corner that way I'll get my corner come on To the middle again and I'll try this corner. Come on, it's coming. I 
All right, I think that's good. Looking cool. Sorry, I might have had a bit close there for you. Okay, Let's see what you. some of that weight off there. All right, I'm just gonna go back this way a little more and then I think this is good. I just wonder how it would be if I spun it. I don't think it would be much different. There. Pretty. What do you think? Something different. Something different. Something to try. Stare at it for a few minutes. Maybe more blooms. So it would be full of blooms then. That's okay. Try it this way first. Cleaning my paint off the bottom. So have a good day, everybody, and uh, come back to Carol's Art Room. Please subscribe to my channel. The dried results will be at the end of this video. Comment below, let me know what you think. Hit the bell for notifications for when I do more videos, you'll be notified. All right. See you at the end. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. Here's my dried painting. It dried awesome. Nice and smooth and shiny. No indents or crevices. Pretty good. I love it. gold, lots of metallic purple in there, violet. That's why it's a little shiny, nice and shiny. Got a shadow there. <clears throat> As you can see, it's it's uh, warped a little bit. It's because there's quite a bit of paint in the middle, I guess. Anyway, so what you can do with a canvas board is wet the back under here and then lay it on some paper, put some books on the top and let it sit till it dries and then take it off and it should be flat. <clears throat> I wait for this to cure a little bit before you do that. but. Yeah, it, it'll flatten out. Anyway, there you go. There's my dried painting. Turned, turned out dried awesome. Turned out great.
There you go. Bye-bye.